is good, where God is good, and all the time God is good. We thank God this morning for everyone that is here. We thank God for his strength. We thank God for his, uh, his love, his kindness towards us. We thank God for giving us this opportunity to be back in the house of the Lord another day. Amen, where we can come and celebrate Jesus. We thank God for life. Good to see Evangelist Delores Owens. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. And all the saints of God, amen, in the house. We thank God, amen, for life. We thank God for his strength. We thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God for his grace. Truly, it's a blessing just to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. And we can truly say that God has been good to us. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you today. Those in the hospital, those at home, amen, those in your car, wherever you are, praise God. Grace and peace be unto you today from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. We come to celebrate Jesus today, amen, because this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So wherever you are today, you're welcome into the house of God. Amen. To celebrate Jesus. Amen. And God is good. All of us today can say God is truly good to us. Praise God. So we're going to pray right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. We celebrate you. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, God, because without you we can do nothing. We thank you, Father God, for bringing us together this morning to celebrate and to lift up your name. We want to praise you, God, for your faithfulness. We want to thank you for your kindness. We want to thank you for your grace towards us. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you have your way. Show yourself strong and mighty on the behalf of them that trust you. Lord, we are grateful today, O oh God, because it's you who has granted us divine grace and mercy that we can come today, God, and we can call on your name, we can worship you, we can glorify you. We want to thank you today, God, for you're a good God to us. We want to thank you because you have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven, the places in Christ Jesus. Father, have your way and move by your spirit today. Those who are sick and shut in, those who are in the hospital, Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask that you glorify yourself. Show yourself strong and mighty on the behalf of them that trust you. We thank you, God, because you hear us when we call. You set us apart for yourself. You're a faithful God, and we honor you today. We thank you, God, because you never fails us yet. We thank you, Lord God, for the strength and the power of the Holy Ghost. We bless you. We lift you up. We thank you, God, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit that destroy yokes and remove burdens. Lord, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor right now for what you have done and what you're about to do in our lives. Father, we bless you. We thank you, Father God, for the leading of the Spirit. We thank you for the strength and the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, have your way today. Move by your Spirit, God, and glorify yourself in this house. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and let everybody say amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise tonight. God is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercies endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Minister John T. Brown, in Jesus' name.
on, let's say it again. Say, here I, here I am to pray. Here I am to bow. Here I am to say you're my God. You're all together, love. Everybody say, I give myself away. I give myself away. Here I Here I Lord. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you I belong. Give myself away. I give myself. I give myself to you. Come on. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. You I belong. To you I belong. I give myself away. Come on, let's say it one more time. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. You I belong. You I belong. And I give myself away. I give myself. I give myself to you. Come on, we say yes. Come on, everybody say we say yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
one more time. We say yeah. We say yeah. Life is not my own. Give him some praise. With my hands lifted up And my mouth filled with praise With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless the Lord. Come on, everybody. With my hand, with my hand, my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving. I'll bless thee. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Come on, say it again. With my head, head lifted up. My mouth filled with praise. And my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving. With a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee. Now everybody say, I bless thee, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Yes, I will. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With a heart of thanks. I will bless thee. Come on, let's take it up a little bit higher. With my head lifted. And my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanks. I will bless thee. I will bless you, Lord. Now everybody say, I'll bless you, Lord. I'll bless you, Lord. Come on, let's go a little bit higher. Say, I will bless the old Lord. Come on and say, I will bless the old Lord. Oh, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless the, I will bless the old Lord. Come on, one more time, a little bit higher. I will bless the old Lord, come on and say, I will bless thee, Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, I will bless thee, Lord, come on, one more time, I bless thee, Lord, I will bless thee, Lord, yes, I will. With a heart of thanksgiving. 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 I will bless thee. 
Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to ask our minister still if he would prepare a scripture reading for us this morning. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, everybody. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, everybody. Come on, bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, help me say, bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, everybody. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, everybody. Say, bless the Lord with me. He is worthy of the praise. The Lord with me. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, everybody, bless the Lord with me. Oh, yes, Lord, no, bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah, say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, say, Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest form of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Amen. Amen. As our minister still comes. You know, years ago, there used to be an old song say, say hallelujah anyhow. Yeah. Never let your troubles get you down. When life's troubles come your way, raise your hand up high and say hallelujah anyhow. Amen. I wish we would get saints back in that spirit again. Amen. When they say hallelujah, no matter what's going on, no matter how they're feeling, no matter how it looks, no matter how it feels, 
I'm going to say hallelujah anyhow because it's the highest form of praise. Amen. Mr. Steele. Amen. Psalms 23. It said that King David wrote this psalm in the hills of when he was taking care of his sheep and he thought of the Lord. If you have it, please say amen. amen. And then we'll read the term again. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, Surely goodness, goodness and, and mercy, mercy shall follow me all the days, the days of my life, life and I will dwell in the, in the house of the Lord, Lord forever. forever. May the Lord continue to bless the reading of his word. Creating me a clean heart and purify me, purify me. Come on, everybody say, creating me a clean heart so that I will work. Come on, let's sing it again. Creating me that created. And purify me, purify me, create me a peace so that I can worship Thee. Cast me not, cast me not away from Thy presence. Please don't take. Come on, everybody, created me, created me a deep, oh, purify me, purify me, created me a deep, so that I may worship me. Oh, cast me now away from my Please don't take One more time. Cast me not, cast me not away from thy presence. Please don't take your spirit from me. Restore and restore the joy of salvation. Oh, till that I 
we do it one more time. Cast me not, cast me not away from thy presence. Please don't take your spirit from me. Oh, and restore the joy of Created me, created me a pure heart and purify me, purify me, purify me. Oh, created me a clean heart so that I can worship. Cast me not. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Come on, he's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. I said he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. And I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Can we sing that just one more time? Everybody together. I'm no longer a slave to fear. For I am a child of God. One more time. I'm no longer a slave. We are not a slave to anything. For I am because we are yoked up with Jesus. And his yoke is easy and his burden is light. I'm no longer, no longer a slave. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you are no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And I'm no longer Somebody to give the Lord a praise right there. In the atmosphere of the anointing. It's conducive for miracles. It is conducive for healing, breakthrough. Anything can happen in this atmosphere. And somebody came here today because they need a breakthrough. They need a miracle from God. But I want you to know you're no longer a slave to fear. You don't have to fear for anything. Because when fear and doubt, their faith is dismissed. But thank God. Somebody lift your hand in the presence of God. Right where you are, maybe in a hospital. Maybe you just underwent a surgery. Maybe you're in the job and your car. And something has happened to you. And the devil is putting fear in your heart. But the song says you're no longer a slave to fear. Fear has no place in you. For the Bible says, fear has torment. My God. Oh, yeah. One more time on the terror, Bishop. I'm no longer, I'm no longer no slave so grateful to fear. You no longer. For I am a child. A child of God. You are an ambassador. You are a son of God. You are the very expression of God in the earth. You are a product of God's imagination. You're a carrier of the glory of God. You have that anointing and you that destroy every yoke, remove every burden. The anointing, the best of God given to a man to handle the worst of the enemy. There's nothing come out of hell that the anointing can't handle. 
I want you to put your hands together as the anointed servant of the Lord come this morning to speak to us under the influence of the Holy Spirit as he tapped into the mind of God and give us a download. Come on, are you ready for a download? Ayabosha, for faith, Ayabosha, for faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Come on, position yourself for a download. And at this time, it's an honor, it's a privilege to present to some, introduce to others. The presiding bishop of the triumphant church of Jesus Christ, worldwide. Will you put your hands together as I give you your pastor, Bishop Barney Brown. Receive him now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, clap your hands and say something. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's give Jesus another great big hand of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We give God thanks. We worship and adore him. Bow down before him, for he is worthy to be praised. Amen. You may be seated there for a moment. We thank God for each and every one of you that are in the house of the Lord today. We give God thanks for Apostle Delroy Smith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I don't see his wife, but she's probably on the way. Amen. His lovely wife. Amen. All the ministry staff, the musicians, and amen. Uh, my wife over there, first lady, she just had a birthday uh, last week. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for, amen, all of the birthdays for this month. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. The February birthdays. Amen. We give God thanks and praise for you today. Praise the Lord. We will also want to give God thanks and praise for all the visitors that are in the house today. Amen. We welcome you. Uh, we don't want you to feel embarrassed or anything, but if you're a visitor, just raise your hand and let us see who you are. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Welcome. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for each and every one of you that are in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord had made. Yeah. We Woo. shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel so blessed to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Thanking God. Hallelujah. For all of you. Amen. It is through your, your prayers and your support that keeps us going. Praise the Lord. This pandemic, sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down, sometimes you feel level to the ground. Praise the Lord. But thank God, amen, through the people of God and through your prayers, they keep lifting me. Yeah. Amen. And I thank God for that, all of us. And we want to continue to pray for one another. Amen. We know it's not easy. But it is possible. Yeah. And we thank God for that today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to go to the word of God in a moment. I'm going to Philippians, a very familiar chapter of scripture. Philippians chapter 2. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was studying, trying to prepare for today, I realized how inadequate, amen, when I study this chapter, I realized that I cannot give it the justice that it deserves in just a few minutes on a Sunday morning. But this has to be a continual and a lifelong journey, amen, that we undertake, Paul said in uh, this same chapter, Philippians chapter, is it the same chapter? But he said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And I was thinking on this week, I said to myself, you know, I don't really pay a lot of attention to that. But I think in the next couple of days and weeks, I'm going to focus a little bit more about, amen, uh, this powerful resurrection. So when we come into the Resurrection Sunday, we be flying, amen, with revelation amen. who Jesus is. Praise the Lord, amen. Praise God. Philippians chapter 2. <laughs> I 
when you have it, say amen. amen. I'm going to read quickly because it's quite a few verses. I'm going to read from verse 5 to verse 11. When you have it, say amen. Father, we thank you for the word. Amen. We pray, oh God, hallelujah, the word is already blessed, but we pray, dear Lord, hallelujah, that this word would be engrafted in each and every heart. As your word said, that the word of God may dwell in you, your heart, richly. And we pray that this word would come alive in the hearts of your people today. Give us an understanding, a clear understanding, hallelujah, of who you are, amen, and who we are in Christ. And Father, hallelujah, we cancel every assignment of the enemy today. This morning, let someone be saved, healed, delivered, and set free. Let this be a day that someone will, amen, touch Jesus for themselves. Hallelujah. And Lord, we are thanking you in advance. Hallelujah. For these and other blessings, we do ask with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to verse 11 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is Above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for that word today. Amen. And I just want to uh, use for a subject, I might not necessarily preach about this per se, but I want to use for a subject the name that is above every other name. Praise yeah. the Lord. Amen. The name that is above every other name. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word of God today. Amen. Put your Bibles down and let's give the Lord another clap offering right here. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I believe as Apostle Smith says sometimes, act like you in church. Amen. Give the Lord a praise and act like you in church this morning. You're in the presence of the Lord. When you come into the presence of the Lord, you come in, praise God, to bow down and to worship him. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, like I said earlier, amen, I was doing a little study this week on this, uh, when the Lord dropped this scripture in my heart to bring forth this morning. And like I said, I felt like I, it's, it's too much. I mean, I'll be preaching all morning if I try to bring out every point uh, in this just these few verses, praise the Lord. But I believe, praise God, I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit, praise God, to just give us enough that it may reach and direct itself to you and to your heart today. And bring about in you what God desires to do in your life today. Praise God. As I look at this chapter, I see that Paul was speaking to the church in Philippi. And one of the issues that he wanted to stress was the unity of the church and you know how easy it is for division to come in amen amongst the people of God praise God so he wanted to show us a picture 
praise God, of the unity that's in heaven so that we can, praise God, come together here on earth. Praise the Lord. So he starts off here by saying, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. And if you're going to have the mind of Christ, it's something that you have to choose to have in your life. You've got to make a decision to imitate Hallelujah, the mind of Christ in your life. To walk in that mind. Praise God, there are so many other voices that might try to bring you into obedience. But you must say to yourself, praise God, I desire to have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I wanted to let it be in my life. Then he went on to say, praise God, when you have that mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, it takes you down the road to see, hallelujah, where the road that Jesus took, hallelujah, to show the mind of Christ, he took the road of humility, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, and the Bible said, who being in the form of God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, hallelujah, amen. And when you think of yourself, how could the God of glory, the God, hallelujah, who created the universe, the galaxies, the stars, he put them in place, the planets to revolve around, amen, the stars and the moons to, amen, stay in their place. And this God, hallelujah, the God, the creator that, amen, put you and me together perfectly that my eyes see, my ears hear, my mouth speak, praise God, my hands move, hallelujah, everything in perfect order because, hallelujah, of God, the eternal God. And the Bible said that eternal God, hallelujah, chose, amen, hallelujah, to come down to earth. Now, hallelujah, the reason why the church has power over the devil is because when the devil chooses to possess someone, he is possessing them illegally. He has no legal right to possess me, to possess you because, hallelujah, for legal entry into the world, you got to come through a woman. And God condescended, hallelujah, praise God, and came and brought the angel to stand before Mary and said, Mary, thou art highly favored. Praise God, hallelujah, amen. God said he want to come, amen, and occupy your womb for a season. She looked at the angel and said, how can these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. Hallelujah. The angel said that the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And that child that is born shall be of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. How hallelujah, can God come the same? Come through the womb of a woman. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And be fully God and fully man. Hallelujah. But the Bible said it is because. Hallelujah. Amen. He being in the form of God. Hallelujah. The Bible said no man has seen God at any time. It's the Son that has revealed the Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus said, hallelujah, when they asked, show us the Father. He said, hallelujah, don't you know that I am in the Father and then the Father is in me? If you're looking for God, I am the representation of the God of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, being in the form of God. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he was born, even that little baby, hallelujah, the Bible said his name would be called Emmanuel, which is interpreted God with us. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said that a virgin shall conceive, hallelujah, and bring forth a son, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty 
God, the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He didn't come on earth trying to be God. He was already God. Hallelujah. That took on humanity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And when he came, praise God. Hallelujah. His Amen, divinity. Praise God, entwined with his humanity. Hallelujah. So that they call him the Son of God. Hallelujah. Amen, praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, that in all of his glory, his splendor, he chose to condescend. Hallelujah. To become like you. To become like me. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that he can go through what I needed to go through. So that he could, amen, accomplish the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross. Who could have done it? Moses in all of his glory could have never done it. Hallelujah. Elijah, the prophet of fire, could have never done it. It took God himself, hallelujah, down through 42 generations, stepped out of eternity and Stepped into time and revealed himself, hallelujah, as God in the flesh. Hallelujah. The Bible says in St. John chapter 1 and verse 1 that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made in in him was life, and the life was the light of man. The Bible said there was a man sent from God whose name was John. He was not the light, but he came to point to the light, which is Jesus Christ. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He came. Praise God. And for 30 years, he didn't work no miracles. For 30 years, he didn't open no blind eyes. For 30 years, he humbled himself and became a carpenter like his father. Hallelujah. But the day approached him. Praise God. Hallelujah. When he recognized his time has come. Hallelujah. But I don't have time to get into all of that today. But the Bible said that Jesus humbled himself and became a man so that he could be obedient to the will of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to know, praise God, hallelujah, that Jesus came and proceeded out of the bosom of God. Hallelujah. There was no less God in Christ, hallelujah, than there is right now. But he chose to humble himself and become obedient. Praise God. Hallelujah. It must have took everything to leave his glory in heaven and come to sin and come down to earth hallelujah and see the powers that ruled the earth during that time it must have hurt his heart to see people possessed with devils he did all he could to let the oppressed go free he opened the eyes of the blind but still there was something that held humanity in captivity his hell met Hallelujah, mankind in chains, praise the Lord. And it also held us, glory to God, that some of us was addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol, addicted to those things. But thank God Jesus knew, hallelujah, that if he sat on his throne in heaven, he might be able to deliver one or two, praise God. But he knew for us to get full redemption, full salvation coming to a knowledge of who God was he had to come himself and I'm so glad that Michael couldn't come for me Gabriel couldn't come for me it took Jesus Christ himself to come in my place hallelujah one of the things 
that I love about God. I love the miracles. I love the healings. I love the raising of the dead. But one thing I love more than that. The Bible said he endured the cross. Hallelujah. Can I talk about the cross a little bit? Hallelujah. I would have respected him if he would have done all of the miracles and then went back up into heaven. Yes, that would have been good. But he humbled himself and let them take him to Pilate's house. Pilate looked at Jesus and said, I find no fault in him. They looked at him and said, crucify him. And Jesus let them let him out of Pilate's house, down Golgotha's road. They took him, praise God, and they put a cross upon his back. They put a crown of thorns upon his head. They slapped him in his face and said, if you be a prophet, tell us who slapped you. But God, I said, God, who could have took one finger and took them all out in one instant, he humbled himself and said, I got to do this. Moses couldn't do it. The angels couldn't do it. I got to do it myself. And he humbled himself and went down to the cross. He allowed sinful men, hallelujah, to take him and put him on a cross. They took those nails, hallelujah, about 12 inches long and they drove them into his hands. Hallelujah. I heard Jesus pray and he said, I can pray one prayer and my father would send 12 legions of angels to come and deliver me. But he humbled himself. He looked down through the eons of time. He saw me for mercy there was grace and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burdened soul found liberty at Calvary. They drove the nails in his hand. He cried out and said, I thirst. They took vinegar and they put it in his mouth. But he was not thirsty for living water. But he was thirsty to fulfill the will of God. He knew if he didn't go through this way, man would still be captive to the devil. The devil will still have a stranglehold on mankind. But Jesus, I said Jesus. I said Jesus. Hallelujah. He endured the cross. He was obedient even on to death. Even the death of the cross. And one thing I love about the cross, amen, because the cross is an ultimate humiliation. The cross, hallelujah, is the lowest of the lowest of the lowest death that anybody could ever experience. The Roman the Roman citizen, you could not crucify anybody from Rome or from any of the Roman governed cities. Hallelujah. But God knew the exact time and the exact moment to allow his son to be crucified on a cross. Hallelujah. But I thank God for that old rugged cross. It's an emblem of suffering and shame. It's through the cross that the die Bible says that if the princes of this world would have known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But he hung on that cross. Somebody said, Bishop, what kept him on the cross? It was not the nails because he could have popped them out like two toothpicks. But it was the love for this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah to God. Can I preach just a little? I want you to know that he died on the cross to make atonement 
from our sin. He died on the cross to fulfill all righteousness. He died on the cross so that he can demonstrate his love and his saving power. Hallelujah. Somebody put your hand on your heart and said, I'm so glad that he died for me. Hallelujah. Oh God, I got a few minutes left. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He demonstrated his love for you. That's how much God loves you. If God didn't love you, he wouldn't go through all of that. Hallelujah. Some people might die for their friends, but God demonstrated his love towards us that he died in my place. And I'm so glad that he did it for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The devil through time has held dominion over mankind. But we thank God. I got to come down here. Amen. He went through. Hallelujah. Became obedient. Even unto death. Even the death of the cross. Now I'm going to get into my preaching. Wherefore, God. I said, wherefore, God. You didn't catch it yet. I said, wherefore, God. Yeah, hallelujah. The Bible says that Jesus said in St. John chapter 17, he prayed and he said, Father, I pray that you would glorify me with the glory that I had with you before the world was. I had to go through this, go through the pain, go through the suffering, go through the heartache, go through the heartbreak, go through disappointment, go through what looked like failure. But I want you to know that they put him in a bar or two. And for three days, there was no movement. For three days, nothing was moving. But Jesus was in hell, preaching the gospel, telling the people, I am he of whom the prophet spoke. If you believe in me, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Where is the devil that had men in captivity? Where is the Satan that held dominion over the people of God? He looked at the devil, snatched the keys of hell and death out of the devil's hands, and he said, all power. All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Snatched the keys from the devil. His blood went up to the mercy seat in God's presence. And God accepted. Hallelujah, the blood. Can I talk about it? It was the blood that bought my redemption. It was the blood that sanctified me. It was the blood that redeemed me from sin. It was the blood that rescued me from Satan's bondage. Somebody shout the blood. It will never lose its power. The blood reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood. Hallelujah. 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 The blood by itself is not a magic formula, but somebody that believes in the blood. Glory to God. I got to get through. I got to get through this. 
When you say the blood, it's not just saying the blood. What you say is that this represents the price that Jesus paid. The blood represents my deliverance. I heard the prophet Isaiah prophesy and said he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes, the blood, we are healed. Glory to God. It's the blood. So the next time the devil trying to touch you, the next time the devil trying to hold you, the next time the devil trying to put you in bondage, you look at the devil square in his eyes and said the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody help me shout. Hallelujah. 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 I got to get through here. It said, wherefore God. I said, wherefore God. I feel like preaching here. It said, wherefore God has exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Can I help? Can somebody help me? He did not exalt himself, but God chose to crown him. Hallelujah. The name Jesus. Can I get to it? The name Jesus is a common name among the Mexicans. Every other Mexican is named Jesus. But the name that they call has no power. But this name is not just a man-given name. This name has been approved by God. It has been sanctioned by angels. This name not only speaks about a name, but it speaks what's behind the name. Because somebody that is a police officer, when they get in the middle of a street and they put up your, their hand, everybody stops. Not because that person is powerful, but if it's the name or the government that they represent. I can't get no help in here today. Hallelujah. And I want you to know there is no other name given under heaven whereby men must be saved. I heard Paul say in Colossians chapter 2 that in him dwelleth all the fullness of Godhead bodily. For it pleased the Father that in him all fullness dwell. For God Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name. Thank God there are many religions, but there's only one name that is above every other name. There's some that call on Allah. There's some that call on Buddha. There's some that call on Confucius, but there is a name that soothed my sorrow. It healed my wound. There is a name that is recognized in heaven and on earth and under the earth. There is a name, as the, the apostle said, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name given under heaven whereby men should be saved and that name 
is Jesus. If you call Jesus, he'll bring you out. If you call Jesus, he'll make a way. If you call Jesus, he'll open doors. Wherefore God has highly exalted him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God. He could not elevate himself, Brother Ramos. But God, he became obedient and went through what he had to go through. Now his own father said, I'm going to give you a name. That is on a level above every other name. Uh, I gotta. I wish I had time to preach it. In the Old Testament, his name was called Yahweh, and they couldn't pronounce the whole name, so they just said Y W. Glory to God. They couldn't pronounce the whole name. He came to Moses. And Moses said, who shall I say? Had sent me. He said, tell him I said that I am. That I am. There are many names that describe God's attributes. Jehovah. Shema, which means God is there. Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. These speak of the attributes of God himself. But in the name Jesus, it contains all the fullness of, of the divine essence. It's wrapped up in that name. And when you say Jesus, you're speaking about the finished work that he did for us and the work is complete and I am complete in him hallelujah to God that's why that name is above every other name some of you got some good names hallelujah but there is a name there is a name there is a name glory to God That took him. I don't have time to preach it all. But. With nails in his hands. Nail prints in his feet. A spear mark. On his side. And God said. Move out the way. Angels back up. This throne doesn't belong to an angel. This belongs to someone that was willing to pay the price to be enthroned. And the angels couldn't do it. I love the angels. The seraphim or the seraphims could not enthrone him. But God himself Elevated him and put him on the throne. Glory to God. He allowed John to see him. John said, when I saw him sit on the throne, I said, who's that? He said, that's the lamb that had been slain from the foundation of the world. Who is that? This is he. That come from Buzra with dyed common fruit. Who is this one? He's the wheel in the middle of a wheel. Who is this one? He's the stone 
hewed out of the mountain, not made with hands. He is the son of righteousness that shall arise with healing. Oh, glory to God. My God. So God himself declared his name and said this name has been given to him because he has the character and the person above all others. It's a clear picture that he wasn't just a baby in a manger, but he was God manifested in the flesh. In the Old Testament, there was no higher name than Yahweh. And now the name Jesus encapsulates all God-given names. So now when you pray, you don't have to say Jehovah Tiskanu. Some of you like saying that. Ooh, Tiskanu. Hallelujah. But the name Jesus encapsulate all of heaven's glory. For Jesus said, Father, I pray that the glory that I had with you before the world was, that you might now glorify thou me. In one instance, God spoke and said, this is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. This man. After he offered one sacrifice for sin. Sat down till his enemies. Became his footstool. And I got to close. He said that. I left so many things out. But it said that at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. Not only is he exalted above everybody. But the whole world is brought into submission. To Jesus Christ. John. The last living apostle. Had a vision. And he said who. That hath the son. Hath life. If you have the father and you have not the son, something missing. Because the father is not complete without the exaltation of the son. Hallelujah. And when heaven and earth, it shows that all creation must recognize the superiority of Jesus Christ. And knees that bow, hallelujah, they bow to Jesus both in word and in action. And the Bible said that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. And I got to close. But when Jesus left heaven, he had a lot. But when he went back to heaven, he took more with him than what he left with. Hallelujah. Because not only did he return, but he added perfect humanity to his divinity. And now he's able to receive the worship that he deserves. When you honor him, you honor God. Hallelujah. And I was studying this week, Brother Terry. Ephesians chapter 1. And he said that the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened. What? So that you could see and understand the finished work yeah. of Jesus Christ. It's good to come to church. It's good to sing and shout. Some people brag, I've been in the church from I was born. And that is wonderful. 
But until you recognize the fullness of what Christ has done, you're just a church member. And let me say something that might be a little controversial, but it's really not all that controversial. But on earth, the mystery of Christ might not be fully known among all denominations. But I believe that before Jesus comes back, every denomination the Holy Spirit going to go between the walls. And one thing God is going to be looking for to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. They're going to be somebody that might have been a Catholic all their life. One day, their eyes going to pop open. They say, it's not Mary. It's Jesus. He is Lord. They're going to bow their knees and say, Lord, all these years, I've been in church. But now I come to the revelation of who you are and what you have done on my behalf. Everywhere in countries where they're going to say evangelism is dead in this country. But now you see how social media, internet is going beyond country walls. And the gospel is being proclaimed. I almost called this message this morning. I want to preach Jesus. I, I got to close. How many times I close already? Who glory. Stephen was being stoned. And as Stephen was being stoned, his eyes opened. And he said, I see Jesus standing at the right hand of God. All those around, they said, what? He was just a Galilean, Nazareth, little lowly peasant. John said, I mean, Stephen said, I see him exalted, sitting on the throne with all power and authority. They might have stoned Stephen, but they could never stone the message. And uh, wherefore... God had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Even the devil know it. And it's time for the church to know it. That's why Jesus said what you bind on earth, I'll bind it in heaven. What you loose, I'll loose. Why? Because he is exalted. He sits on the throne. And every tongue would confess that Jesus Christ. Today, 
we come to lift up Jesus. We put him first in everything we do and everything we say. We have come to understand the power that's in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has power for salvation, power for deliverance, power for hope, change, peace, redemption, and resurrection. For there is no other name in which to pray and offer worship unto God that in the name of Jesus. When Peter healed the lame man, they said, but what, by what power did you do this? He said, it's not our power, but it's us putting our faith in the name that had made this man strong today. There's power in the name. I got to go, but I want to pray a, a, a supernatural devil destroying, hallelujah, Satan kingdom pulling down witch, warlock, power destroying, sickness and disease must, oh glory to God, my God if you have a need this morning, Isaiah chapter 10 I believe verse 27, it said that in that day, today, shall the yoke or the burden be removed from off of thy shoulders and the yoke shall be destroyed. Hey! Oh, oh, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Stand up on your feet. Father, right now, it is in the name of Jesus. We take the authority, hallelujah, and dominion, praise God, that you have given us as your children. We believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ. We believe that Christ is Lord. He has been exalted above sickness and disease. And in the name of Jesus, we break every chain. Every yoke be destroyed by the power of your resurrection. I come against sickness, disease, and infirmity. I come against witchcraft. I come against spells and all type of hex, all type of addictions, all type of mental illness. In the name of Jesus, I command the devil, take your filthy hands off of God's property. You lose them and let them go. You lose them by the authority that's in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free. Be delivered. Break. The yoke of poverty, the yoke of unbelief, the yoke of doubt, be loose and destroyed in the name, in the name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, be delivered. In Jesus' name, be loved, made whole. In Jesus' name. Hey, 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 in Jesus' 
Jesus name for your family in Jesus name for your husband in Jesus name for your children in Jesus name finish but I'm going to quit there's a name that is above every other name and that name is the Lord Jesus Christ and faith in that name is what makes the difference in your life today come on clap your hands I gotta go come on all over the church Come on, just clap your hands. Come on, we are to give the Lord a praise. There is a name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands. Give the Lord a praise. Jesus is here. Oh, God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a wonderful name. Come on, come on, come on. What a mighty name. Shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. What a name. Glory to God. We thank God for that powerful word. God has highly exalted Jesus. And given him a name which is above every name. Hotoshai. That at the name of Jesus. Hotoshai. Somebody ought to give the Lord a praise today. God is good. How many glad for that name? It's a saving name. It's a healing name. It's a deliverance name. Yoke destroying, burden removing name. What a name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Songs of Solomon verse 1 says, Name is like ointment poured out. The moment you say Jesus, it releases the anointing. My God, come sister Barbara. Amen. Let's pray for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Somebody bring Sister Barbara. Amen. I feel led of the Lord God. Amen. To pray for her right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God. King. Glory to God. And kingdom. They'll all pass away. But there's something. But there's something about, about Come a little 
closer. That name for kings and kingdoms, Lord. Father God, it's not your will for her to come into the house of God being led by somebody. I command this scale and this fog and close over your eyes to remove in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and that you receive clear sight in Jesus' name. We thank you for it, God. And we call it done. Fulfill your purpose and your will in her life. She's a young lady that what her vision to read the world and to take care of herself and to sing in the house. It's not your will. I command this fog over your eyes. Speak clarity to your eyes, you blind spirit. Go, Jesus' name. Be made whole by the power of God. In Jesus' name. Somebody give the Lord a praise in this house. There is a name. Come, Brother Terry, help us sing it. There is, there a, name. is a name. There is a name. He's present to heal. There He's present to deliver. When God gives the word, He confirms His word. God can only confirm what He says. And if you're sick in your body today, you need a touch from God. You need healing. He's present to heal. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. There is a name. That name is like ointment poured out. Thank you, Jesus. There is, there is a name. Precious name. Precious name. Bless that name. Everyone lift your hand. Put your hand on your chest and say, Jesus. Whatever infirmities in your body. Whatever infirmities in your body. Whatever affliction in your body. Whatever pain you have in your body. Whatever virus is in your body, inflammation in your body, infection in your body, heart regulator, blood pressure, come down to normal, sugar diabetes, arthritis, whatever. You get that. You know what you need God to do for you. And as you put your hands on it, when I say three, say Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Yes, access the power in the name of Jesus, get that download from that anointing that brings healing and deliverance. My God, it's faith in the name. It's not the name. It's faith in the name that made this man whole. Thank you, Jesus. How many thank God today? Let's give the Lord a praise again. Thank God for a pastor. A man who flows under the sequence of the revelation of God to give us that download calls a man the name of Jesus. In the Old Testament, his name was Jehovah, but it was so holy they couldn't call it. They have to use vowels. But like the man of God said, all the compound name is wrapped up in one name, Jesus. Glory to God. Jehovah Jari, Jehovah Raha, Jehovah Rapha, all of them. One name, compressed, Jesus. How many glad today? We thank God today. Amen. We're going to call it to our tithes and our offering. Today is also Pastor's Day. Amen. And we're going to ask everyone today to sow a seed of $20 in the pastoral offering. We're going to ask. Amen. Sister Missionary Zena Brown to come. We're going to ask everyone to be a blessing. Amen. Today. Amen. You got an envelope. Amen. Make an extra sacrifice. And so a seed of $20 in the man of God's life. Praise God today. Amen. You cannot beat God's giving no matter how you try. Amen. Also, Minister Steele said he has some books. Right, Jake? Amen. And if anyone interested, he wrote a book. And he said if anyone interested would like a copy, can see him in the back. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to do it quickly. We're right on time. Amen. We're asking you, Sister Sinat is standing for our pastor. 
Amen. Be a blessing to the man of God. Everyone, I'm asking you, sow a seed of $20. The seed that leaves your hand never leaves your life. It goes into your future and brings back a harvest. And when you sow in the man of God's life, you receive miracles and breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brother Don is that deacon. Don is really standing for the tithes and your offering. Amen. As we serve God with our tithes and our offering, we ask you everyone to stand, please. Praise God. Our sister has gone home to be with the Lord. Amen. And just pray for the family. Amen. That sister James. James, she used to sing in the adult choir. I spoke to her husband and her son and family. Amen. Let them know that we're praying for them. Amen. And we asking you to bear them up in prayer. Amen. Evangelist Betty Hansen and Minister Hansen went to Jamaica to send home their mom. Amen. Who went home to be with the Lord. So pray that they will get covering and traveling mercy to come back. Jesus' name. My mother is 92, going 93 in November. And she had a terrible fall. Amen. And when she fell, amen, in Black River, they had to pick her up. She couldn't use her hand, but we asked for prior the other night. And they took her to the hospital. And when they do all the MRI and the x ray, the old lady has no broken bone. Good God. So it'll come. Amen. And I called her and said, Mom, how you doing? She said, well, I'm doing better now. I feel much better. And I'm eating like a horse. She's always eating like a horse. Amen. And every time my mother says she's eating on a ho- like a horse, that means she's doing good. So we thank God for that. If she said, I'm not eating like a horse, I'm troubled. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. So we thank God for your prayers. Amen. The sexual fervent prayers, the righteous man. Availeth not. I'm telling you, prayer works. Amen. Remember, God can do nothing in the earth but in answer to prayer. And the only prayer God cannot answer is the prayer that was not prayed. My God. <laughs> I tell you, I like you, you got that one, Michelle. If you don't pray, He can't answer. And you've got to vocalize it. Amen. So we thank God today for that word. Amen. From our pastor, in Jesus. Father, bless this offering that we give today. Lord God, in the tithes of our offering, we bring it to the storehouse. We ask God that there are some here, God, that need a financial breakthrough. They have stored up their finances in the treasure of heaven while they were working, oh God. And now, some of that work in God, and they need you to step in for them and remove the shame and the embarrassment from them. You provide for them, open door for them because you are faithful. We trust you today, God. We know you will do it because you always does. And Father, bless our hearts today now. Bless those who sow in the offering for the man of God. God, those who need a turnaround, a financial breakthrough. Pray that you'll meet that need. Turn it around for them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let everybody say amen. Follow the direction of the usher from the rear. Amen. And this evening at 6.30, I have a Zoom number for you. I'll be preaching in St. Vincent. <laughs> Glory to God. What that's way down in Barbados. All right. So I have a Zoom number for you. So if you have a pen, so the website, amen, is 6, it's 292, 292, 292, 647, 9841. 292, 647. Nine eight four one. My God is the conference that they have. Amen. And that's two nine two six four seven nine eight four one. No password. Two nine two six four seven nine eight four one. We're going to St. Vincent this evening at six thirty. Amen. But you don't have to buy a ticket. I feel generous this evening. All, all your expenses are taken care of. Just go on Zoom at 6.30. Amen in Jesus' name. When I look 
back over mm-hmm. my life and I think things over I can truly say I've been best I gotta step the oh. oh when I look back over my life and I think things over I can truly say that I've been blessed. I got a testimony. Sometimes my burdens didn't see through, but the Lord, He brought me out. Right now I'm free. I got the victory. Got a testimony. Oh, when I look back over my life. And I think things over. I can. I can truly say I've been blessed. I got a Whoa, sometimes I bet see my way out. But the Lord, He brought me out. Right now I'm free. Got the victory. Got a death. When I look back over my life And I think things over I can truly say That I've been blessed I got a testimony I got a testimony I got a testimony Oh, I got a testimony for the powerful word that God is good. I say God is good and all of the time and I am a good God Almighty. Lord Father, as we go from this house, we thank you God for this day, a beautiful day, great day, powerful day, blessed day, miracle Sunday. Thank you God for the word. Who shall man die? Father, your word was rich. You speak to our hearts, God. And our hearts are blessed. We receive your word. Help us, O oh God, to apply to our lives and to put it in force. Oh God, to plead the blood against that devil and to use your name to bind up every sickness and every disease. God, we thank you for your vessel that you use today. Continue to unctionize it to flow in the sequence of your revelation. As you receive the download from your God and pour it back into us, we want you to know we appreciate you. We thank your God for his wife and family. Cover them and preserve them from disease and destruction. That even in their old age, God, they will still have their vision, their mind, their body will be intact to speak unto us the infallible word of God. We thank you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, cover everyone today. I draw the bloodline of protection around you. And I rebuke every devil, every satanic counsel, every plot in the name of Jesus Christ. For your demise this week, you will live and not die. Sickness will not come your dwelling. No emergency speaker will stop by your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I speak a release into your life this week. Release in your health, your finances. Release. Release. Divine release for the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. In Jesus' name, let everybody say amen. Say it again. One more time. Amen. God bless you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father, from Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you. You are good. See you when I see you. God bless you tonight. Remember Zoom at 6 30. If you're not busy, it's on the side. Go to God. God bless you.